All right, so in the previous video, we talked about how to join information use, using concatenate. Today, we're gonna look at the corollary to that, which is how to split information. And this happens a lot, particularly when we run into things like addresses or kind of lists. So in this case, I've got, um, I'm gonna show you in the top row how to do it a very easy way. And then in the second way, I'm gonna show you how to do it using the split function. And that'll be important as we go into this further when we start talking about larger sets of data or data that's dynamic, that's changing in a sheet. So let's look at the simple way first. So in B1, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that and then I'm gonna click on data. And this one could not be more simple. You click on split text into columns. So you'll see that it automatically detected that it was gonna use the comma to split the data up. Well, in this case, we have a state and a zip code. So if we just highlight that, go right back to data, split text to columns, and this time we select a space, that will split it into all the different columns. This makes it great for being able to analyze data to import into charts or data studio or something like that. So in the second row in B2, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to C2 or C2 and we're going to do equals split and we're going to select B2 and same as we chose the delimiter in the dropdown, in this case, we're gonna choose a comma, and then I'm just gonna end parentheses to make this simple. And you'll see, it did the exact same thing. So in this case though, let's go ahead and break that one up one more time by going to equal split, uh, and that would be E2, comma, delimiter, and in this case, it's gonna be a space that we insert between the parentheticals, and we're gonna hit enter, and you can see that put it in FG. So that's a, just two very easy ways to get data that's in a cell broken up into individual columns, which prepares it really well for later things like dashboards and stuff like that. So again, I come at this from a total spreadsheet, um, you know, uh, disaster in terms of understanding. I'm sure there's a million ways to do it even faster than that, but this will at least get you started.